So today I'm going to show you how to create and load GPC scripts onto your Cronus Zen. Let's head over. To connect your Cronus Zen to your computer, you're going to need to use the prog port on the right hand side. So you're just going to take your prog cable, plug it in, and it should light up just like that. Once your Cronus Zen is connected to your computer, we first want to make sure that we have the output protocol set correctly. So along the top, we can see these options. We want to come all the way over to device. We're going to click on that where it brings up all the interesting info about your Cronus Zen device. Near the bottom, we can see the option emulator output protocol. We want to make sure this is set to auto as that will ensure your console can pick up the Zen and the script automatically. So now that we have our Zen device all set up to use our script, let's make a script. Along the top, we have our options. We're gonna come back over to compiler. Now I know the screen looks intimidating, but don't worry, I'll walk you through it. First thing we're going to do is create a new script. So to do that, we're going to do file, new, empty file. So your script is probably going to look different to mine. But for me on NHL 22 on Xbox Series X, the poke check button is the right bumper. So for me, I like to keep the controller laying flat so I can easily access all the buttons I need with one hand. This really makes that difficult. So let's go ahead and change that. I'm going to be using a PS4 controller on my Xbox Series X. So I'm going to be using the PS4 command. So what we're going to do is go remap. That'll, it, when the command is legitimate, it will change color as you can see. And then we're gonna do PS4. So that's the controller type I'm using, followed by an underscore and my button. So my button is R1. So I'm gonna do PS4 R1. And as you can see, that also changed color, which indicates that it is a legitimate command. And now we're gonna do the funky looking little arrow thingy here. And then we're gonna change that to the button I want. So your first command beside remap is the source button. After the arrow is your destination. So I want the R1 to become the PS4 triangle. So I'm gonna type PS4 underscore again, and then I'm gonna do triangle. And as you can see, that changed color. We want to end every line with a semicolon that is standard for all programming languages. And that just indicates that that line of the command is complete. On the next line, I'm going to change the button that the triangle was originally and put that on the right bumper. So essentially they've just been swapped. So we're gonna do remap. And then again, we're gonna do PS4 underscore source button. So that's triangle. And that will become PS4 underscore right bumper or R1. Again, I'm going to end that with a semicolon. And it's that simple. Now, also in NHL 22, for one handed use, the crouch uh, button is the left bumper. Again, that's not ideal for me. So let's change it. I'm going to move it to the D-pad right. And this will allow me to quickly access it in game without having to reposition my hand. So we're gonna do remap PS4 underscore L1. So that's the left bumper. And that will become PS4 underscore right. That I know it doesn't say D-pad right, but that is the syntax for the right direction of the d-pad and again we're going to end every line with a semicolon and we're all set there uh, now this final command is going to pull the d-pad right 
input and assign that to the L1 or the left bumper. So to do that, we're going to do remap PS4 underscore right. And oh, if I could spell that would help. PS4 underscore right. And that's going to become PS4 underscore L1 or left bumper. And as we can see, everything is green. Everything has been flipped around as we want, and we are good to go. So now we can simply hit File, Save As, whatever you want to name it. So I'll just call this one YouTube, since I'm using it for my video. Save it somewhere you know. I can't tell you how many times I've come across people saying I can't find my file, I don't know where it went. Please make sure you save it somewhere you know where to find it. Once that's done, simply hit Save and you are good to go. We can get out of here. We're gonna now come over to Programmer. And along this bottom right-hand side, we can see our slots on our actual Cronus Zen device, as well as what we have preloaded if you've already done that. So I already have two in here. For demonstration, I'm just gonna put the sample script on here and we'll go ahead and save it. So what I'm gonna do is along this left side, we have all these options. The top one is your computer. So we're gonna click on that. Now, wherever you saved your program, make sure you remember. So mine's under scripts. And then here are all the scripts I've made. And here's my sample script. So simply drag it over to an empty slot on your Zen device. It's then going to turn black. From here, we come over and we hit the play button, which is the program button in Zen. It's now going to do its thing. And once done, you should see a fancy schmancy little pop-up that everything has been programmed successfully. That's all there is to it.